do it. You can do it. What you waiting for? Don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> Just do it! I hope this wind is not actually... Like, I have cover here. Yeah. But like... I hope it's not too distorted or anything. Only one way to find we out. We will just do it again. Hello everybody, I'm Anna and welcome to Live Love Lang, the channel where we teach you how to learn multiple languages and how to go abroad. Today I'm joined by my friend Zach. Woo! Uh, he's a teacher in Japan, he teaches English and he has lived here for how many years? Uh, I'm, this is my fifth year here. Fifth year, oh my god, senpai. <laughs> <laughs> well, you read the title, but today we are talking about how to study a language while working. We have experience about it because I work for a Japanese company in sales and... I teach full time. So, full time. Yeah. So we talk about the techniques that we have to yeah. study in our free time, which is not much. And we found three tips for you that are working and want to study a language. We feel you. We know the struggle. So we want to help you to overcome and still study languages and be able to speak them as you were studying full time right. with some techniques that we're gonna explain right now. What is a source? So obviously with studying you have many different methods of studying and so you have to kind of choose which way you want to focus on because your time is limited. Yeah. So if you want to go to language school and work part-time, if you want to work full-time and study in your free time. Have you been studying languages on the internet for example? I don't actually use the internet to study very often. Ooh. I prefer like books and, and paper and I mainly use the internet for resources for like maybe looking grammar things uh -huh. up. You rely on books so like you go to library or some not library bookstore and yeah. and you get some grammar books for example exactly yeah, or textbooks it's good because they create kind of a schedule usually so mm -hmm. you have like chapters or something exactly so you can say oh this week I do this chapter and I just concentrate on it and, and I do that every night or something yeah you know and um like honestly personally I'm more uh, comfortable with online like I don't know YouTube oh videos uh, like you know I already have my idea on like how to study a language mm -hmm. I work better like say um, what what are the colors in Chinese and I search for a video where they ex only explain the colors in Chinese uh, so I, I learn based on like based on what I want to learn in that moment for I example see. you know yeah uh, instead of relying on the book schedule is more like I create my schedule I don't know yeah, I I feel more comfortable with that, but it's like I think it depends on the person. Mm -hmm. So maybe you prefer to have something already laid out, like a book, uh, chapters, or mm -hmm. whatever you can find where you are, um, or you can just well, there are also like uh, kind of like books or course oh. full courses that you can pay for or there are probably also free ones on the internet that you yeah. can find so um, there's also Wikipedia pages exactly. actually like yeah. uh, honestly they are not that bad especially if you're like super beginner you can search for like uh, Chinese language on Wikipedia and there will be like courses on like speaking about uh, the writing yeah. and pronunciation and stuff. Also, yeah, Wikipedia pages are themed, so you can find, if you need vocabulary for a certain topic or something, you can find lots of Wikipedia articles that have, you know, vocabulary lists or will help you learn vocabulary that you need to use for certain themes. The internet is infinite and useful. Mm -hmm. Explore it. And whenever I have a question, I always go to the internet. So like, ah, this grammar point, I don't understand. And yeah. then oh, here's a YouTube video that explains the differences between this grammar and this grammar, or, you know, this word and this word, and it's so much easier than trying to figure out the answer by yourself yes. versus watching a five-minute video and understanding it instantly. Yes, exactly. Don't underestimate YouTube. You're here now, that means that you are actually trying to, like, search for something, and it's yeah. a good thing. Keep doing it. You're on the right track. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. Okay. What do we mean by learn passively? I'm thinking like I get off of work, I'm really tired, I don't want to speak with anybody, I just want to lay in my bed and watch Netflix exactly. and, and I don't know, watch YouTube videos or something or read a book, whatever makes you feel good. Do that in your target language. Yeah. So you do what you want to do and you're like actually relaxing but 
you're also passively learning the language and your brain is absorbing all that knowledge baby mm -hmm. right yeah for example also i make my phone in my target languages oh so, nice one yeah so like i can't avoid you know my languages and stuff and yeah because you're looking at your phone very much yeah a lot of the time during the day so like if you're forced to deal with it at one point your brain will be like mm -hmm. actually think it's normal to know yeah you know and then everything you learn passively i would say don't just let it be absorbed and never use it again a good way to let your body remember what has been absorbed passively is to not letting it flow away yeah. write it down make your own vocabulary list somewhere uh, make post-its and put them on the mirror in your bathroom or something make a drawing in your journal yeah. I don't know I, I've never done the post-it note thing but I tend to talk to myself a lot um, maybe it's just because I in the shower yeah like I just try to talk to myself in the language as much as possible yeah so that way my tongue practices those sounds and it becomes much easier to say them when the time arises to finally say these words that's a good way like actually I used to uh, put myself to sleep saying Korean numbers at one point oh, really? okay <laughs> like counting sheep in Korean and it's a good way to you know like make your brain practice actively something yeah. that uh, has been absorbed only passively mm -hmm. and it's a good thing because when you're actually uh, gonna speak with somebody in the, your mm -hmm. target language you are gonna use like your brain is gonna search for the knowledge yeah. and it if it's already used to go searching for the knowledge and take it out exactly it's of course uh, a hundred times a thousand times easier a thousand times. right one million times one easier. million two millions okay <laughs> settled one of my goals in Japanese is to improve my vocabulary wait and a second let's enjoy this music I hope you hear it Probably because the hour is changing. Nice. I don't it's know. five o'clock? Oh, no, it's an announcement. It's 4.30 maybe? Yeah. I don't know. They're announcing something. Say, I can never children, understand. go home. Yeah, I can never understand announcements in Japanese. Same. <laughs> like, <laughs> Same. it's so... Moon. Distorted? Distorted? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's impossible. It's like, oh, I hope they're okay, but I don't know what's happening. Yeah. I will ask somebody next to me yeah. and, then, and then you ask native speakers and they're like, I don't understand either, yeah. I'm just ignoring yeah. <laughs> Nice. Because right now I'm studying for the JLPT, so oh, nice. I have to make sure I know lots of words. Are you studying for the JLPT? Check the video in the description about how to pass N2. Ooh. Make a schedule, mm -hmm. I find it really helps because then it just becomes habit. Before I can go home from work, I have to go to the cafe and study for one hour. Mm. You know. Yeah, like reward yourself mm -hmm. or something. I don't know. Like make make your study sessions enjoyable for exactly. you. Exactly. Yeah. And reward yourself after. And then it won't feel as unenjoyable. Yeah, it won't feel like a burden or anything. Because yeah. it's something that you're choosing to do, right? Mm -hmm. So make it good for yourself. Also in the process, not yeah. only in the end. And it doesn't have to be media either. Whatever your hobby is, if you can find some way to incorporate that in Why your not? languages, right? The internet is an amazing place. And mm -hmm. I know you can find a way to find something that you enjoy. Uh, if your hobby is like skateboarding, for example, because there's a skateboarder yeah. right here. But <laughs> if it's skateboarding, watch tutorials about skateboarding yeah. in your in target your language, language, right? Surprise us. Yeah. Do something you, amazing. You, life finds a way. You'll find... <laughs> Your the content rate. that you want to find, right? Okay, let's move to the other one. You do, you do this, right? I don't do Three. I do, yeah, oh, I do this. Have you ever seen Unglorious Bastards or something? No. The movie of Tarantino. Ah, uh, yeah, because he does this and then yeah. he gets caught as a. And he American gets fan. shot. Yeah. That's where I learned it. You have to study the culture too. Right? if you don't want to get shot in the Second World War. I find that the best way to incorporate the language is definitely to hang out with native speakers. Yeah. I mean, I know English already, but even today I kept asking you, can I say this in English? Mm -hmm. It's okay, like what is your feeling if I say that, whatever. Yeah. Because you can search on the internet for days and not finding an answer to a question that of you course, have yeah. and just asking two seconds 
and they tell you, you know. Yeah. It's not it's not that you have to make friends because they're useful or anything. It's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying like be curious and ask questions and exchange cultures, you exactly. know. Yeah. And not everybody has access to native speakers where they live, I guess. Yeah. But there are plenty of ways to like get in contact with somebody. Mm-hmm. Like when I lived in the States, uh, I was starting to study Japanese and where I lived there were like no Japanese speakers so I had to find events or do networking at my school to find, mm-hmm. you know, Japanese speakers to practice with mm-hmm. or where was I going with that? Yeah. <laughs> or like on the internet Or using like, like apps like yeah, Hello apps, Talk Yeah, apps, exactly Hello Talk, not sponsored but it's yeah. great app to uh, language exchange mm-hmm. so like you get in contact with native speakers so like if my target language is Chinese at the time when I used it I got in contact with Chinese people that are learning Italian <laughs> children screaming (laughs) so like you have like a mutual interest in like each other language and it's a good environment also can I say get a crush on somebody and study the language because you want to communicate with them that is scientifically the most effective way to learn a language love is a very good motivator it's the best motivator (laughs) if you only want friends that kind of love works as well so you can do that platonic platonic (laughs) Platonic love platonic (laughs) interest mutual interest it's good to learn a language to be able uh, to communicate with somebody else because it's yeah. really like rewarding and fulfilling and right that's, that's the ultimate purpose of language is to communicate right so if you don't do that it's just kind of it's it like, feels empty uh, right yeah so like use language get exposed yeah like everybody at first is really un- unsure about like how to use like even if you study grammar and you know grammar perfectly you're not gonna be able to use it at first oh yeah and you're gonna feel uncomfortable like you are a failure you cannot do anything but like just dive in I guess yeah and expose yourself and it's good to do it like through an app maybe at first instead of like in front of a person it's less embarrassing right yeah so that could be a good way but there are also like websites that uh, can make you in contact with native speakers Mm -hmm. and if you haven't yet please check out our Live Love Lang website it's called gladly global and the link is in the description we do language learning mentoring and you can just contact us if you have questions or anything so check it out okay thank you very much Zach for being with me in this journey (laughs) it was nice meeting you yeah after all these years all these years oh my god I hope this video was useful for you and if you have any other question you can just leave a comment down below and I will answer as soon as I can. Alright, see you in the next video. Bye! Bye. Roll the outro. That's it for today's video and we hope that you enjoyed it and it was helpful for you. We produce these free videos with your support so if you want to know how to become a patron you can check the description down below or you can search on patreon.com slash livelovelang. Get your free templates and vocabulary lists on our website gladlyglobal.com Why are you waiting? It's free! Like, subscribe, Hit the notification bell, (laughs) comment down below, show us some love, and we will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye!